Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and we are approaching spooky season. So I thought I would do a little quick tutorial of three different barn decorations that you can make for your hauntedness. Yeah, basically just like Halloween decorations. Please don't forget to check out my Etsy before we get started because I have so many new listings, it's insane. And I'm still doing custom orders, so if you're interested in those, please message me through Etsy or through Instagram, and I will direct you on how we can set that up. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make some pumpkins, because what is fall without pumpkins? So the clay that I will be using today is called Sculpey, and this is oven-baked clay. So once you're done sculpting, you just put it in the oven, and then it will harden in the oven once it is out of there and they are pretty like strong and I don't find them to be very breakable. I will also be using these silicone sculpting tools and you can get these on Amazon and these are super useful for sculpting clay as well as when I do model horse um, recustomization of manes and things I use these so. Alright so to start out I basically just roll it into a ball and then I use my silicone sculpting tools to make indentations in the pumpkin just like basically ridges that are um, vertical and then I will make a little hole like in the top for where the stem is and in order to make the stem I just kind of roll it into a little snake and then I decided that I wanted to make a little hat for a like horse like a little pumpkin hat it ended up turning out a little bit too flat but it would be a cute idea if it was executed properly I just need to try it again to make it more curved okay so we're going to set the oven to 275 degrees for Sculpey clay and um, you will want to bake it depending on the thickness of what you're making. Um, so yeah, we'll just let that set while we are making our stuff so that when we are ready, we can just pop it in the oven. The second craft we will be making are little miniature candies and I will put the PDF for these printouts um, in the description so you guys can print these out. I did not make these, they were made by this person, <laughs> um, but we will be using them for this tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do is just cut them out. So now we have some of these cut out. I'm not going to do all of them, but basically um, what you'll want to do is just take your little piece and um, I'm going to be using this blade so that I can fold it over really neatly. And so we're just going to do one like this. So pick it up and then you want to just fold it. Um, and sometimes it's easier to see like um from the wrong side and then you can just unfold it onto the right side so i'm going to be using just this pair of tweezers to just fold it over the blade and you just want to be careful because you obviously don't want to cut it at all and just fold it over like that and then you can fold it over back on the right way and then just use a piece a little bit of this glue and then you just want to fold it back on itself like that and then you have a little bit of candy a little wrapper and now i'm going to add some really fine details on the side using this little blade Okay, so now we're gonna make the actual candy with um, a little bit of Sculpey clay. So some of the candies that I'm gonna make are M&Ms. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of random colors and then make really tiny little, um, little 
balls basically that will be the m&ms and then i don't know depending on how small they are when they come out i might try to paint like a little m on them but like, like i said it kind of depends on how big they are <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the chocolate bar. So you just need some brown clay and I'm just gonna use this random piece of wood that's right next to me because it's flat and you just basically wanna flatten it down so that it's flat and then just press on the edges so that you can get some sort of square-ish looking piece. And you can also use an X-Acto knife um, and like kind of cut off the sides of it just so you can get like the rectangular shape of a candy bar, I guess. And now for our last craft, we're gonna be making a little bag. Um, I will also have the PDF for this too. I did not make this, um, I found it online. So we will just be cutting out one of these bags and then assembling it. I'm also going to add like a little handle onto that so we can put all of our candies and lots of goodies in these bags. Okay, so now this is the little Halloween bag that is completely done. And here is the rest of the things that I will be putting in the oven. So I kind of made this into a little hat. Oh no, an M&M is sticking to it. Um, and then I have these M&Ms that are really not consistently sized, but it's okay. And of course our pumpkin and the little chocolate bar. So I'm gonna put these guys in the oven for about 15 minutes and see when they're done. All right, they're in the oven and they're cooking, only a few minutes left. All right, just took it out of the oven and now it is cooling. Make sure not to touch it because it's super hot and it needs to cool down for around, I would say 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, so this is how everything turned out. This is the little hat for the Jarbar Pony, the pumpkin. I wish it was a little bit more curved, um, but when I cooked it, it kind of flattened out. And then this is the candy. So I tried doing some little M's, but it was really hard as you can see. Um, that's like the size of my finger. And this is how the pumpkin turned out, so pretty good. And then this is the little tiny bag for the treats. And then this is how the Hershey's bar came out. And it's supposed to be like half eaten and everything. And then this is just a size comparison to my fingers. This is all very small. And here are the accessories in use. I took some photos with all these accessories and I've posted a few of these pictures so far on my Instagram and there will be more to come for the rest of October. I definitely recommend making these accessories. They're super duper fun to make and pretty simple. All right, Roses, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please let me know and I will make sure to do one for the fall season for Thanksgiving and holidays like that. Please check out my Etsy. I just added a bunch of stuff literally today. So I would really appreciate if you guys could check that out. All right, see you next time. Stay sweet. Mwah. <laughs>